Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing a review on the Kira Crochet Thread. I do have a previous review that I did, but this is an updated review because they did change a lot of their colors and they added a lot of new colors to their line and I'll be showing you them here. So if you follow my projects on my channel, you'll notice that I use Kira Crochet Thread quite often. It's my favorite crochet thread as they come in a lot of different colors. As you can see here, there's a whole rainbow of them and they do come in quite large balls at 721 yards per ball and it's a size 10 crochet thread. Now let's first go through each color that they currently have for sale. Starting with the reds, we have a holly berry. This is what this looks like. Great for Christmas colors. You can pair it nicely with the green. Serrano. Very vibrant, bright red. Fortunately, I don't think the camera captures the brightness of this, but once you hit it in the natural light, you'll see that it just really shines. Very bright. Tea Rose, it's a very calming color. I quite like this one a lot. You can pair it with the Comfrey color, they go well together. And this is what the Tea Rose would look like in a crocheted piece. This is what the Holly Berry would look like. See the edging? In a crocheted piece. We have Copper. It's a nice orangey color, good for Halloween. A lighter version, we have Clementine. The camera makes it look a little bit more yellow, but it's more orange, it's more of a brighter orange. We have Conch, a nice summery color. We have Turmeric. Canary. This is Kanai, it's more of a bluey green color. We have Jalapeno. Pistachio, my favorite one of the new colors. This one is also very bright when reflected against the sun. And this is what pistachio would look like in a crocheted piece. We have Navy. Navy is very, very dark. It almost looks like a black. This one is just called Blue. We have Bahama. This one is also very bright. So the brightest one so far is the Bahama, the Pistachio, and the Serrano color. These three against the sun, really, really bright, which is great. It really pops. And we have a Clarity color, which is like a light blue. For the purples, we have Eggplant, Comfrey, and Heliotrope. And then we have Black. Hawk, Whisker, Natural, and White. So here are some projects that I used with the Cure Crochet Thread, and you can see what they look like. I did use a lot of the older colors from the original set that I do have a review on. You can check my channel out on that for these projects. I haven't yet used these, so a lot of these you'll find with the older colors. And the older colors were a lot more muted, darker, not as vibrant as these, but they were like this. You can see that they have more of a grayer, more sophisticated tone to them in comparison to the brighter, lighter, and more vibrant newer colors that they have now. So these are just some examples that I used with the Curie Crochet Thread. A lot of these are actually the Wisp Weave designs that I do have on my channel. You can check out the tutorials on that. But we have the old turmeric, we have the blue, we have the or a lichen color, which is like an olive green. We've got a different green here. We have the ash color, which is very similar to this whisker color. In terms of the doily forms, you can have big doilies like this, or even doilies like this, which you can also check out on my channel as well. So the color palette for the Curio Crochet Thread makes wonderful, colorful projects. So as I said, they got rid of a lot of the older colors, more somber colors, which I personally really, really like, and they replaced it with a lot of newer, more vibrant colors, which actually surprised me. Because when I opened the box, the first things I saw was this red, the pistachio, and the blue, and they really popped. Like when, when the light hit them, they popped a lot, and you can see how bright they really are. What's great about the Curio Crochet Thread is that they have a nice sheen to them. So it's mercerated cotton, which means that it's really, really shiny, and it is really, really shiny. Once you buy it, you'll notice that it's really good. Um, it is a size 10 crochet thread. Now, if you compare it to an Aunt Lydia's crochet thread, 
a size 10 Aunt Lydia's and a size 10 Kuro Crochet Thread. Kuro Crochet Thread is slightly, slightly thinner. Maybe because it's more fine, it's, it's better quality, but it is slightly thinner than Aunt Lydia's Crochet Thread. Not enough to make a big difference. You can still interchange Aunt Lydia's and Kuro Crochet Thread and you won't notice a difference if you use both on the same project, but Kuro Crochet Thread is slightly thinner. You can use the same crochet hook. I use a size 1.8 millimeter steel crochet hook for my size 10 crochet threads. So you can use it for both. It won't make a difference, but the recommended hook size for this is 1.5 millimeters to 2.25 millimeters crochet hook. One thing to note is that if you have the original colors, two colors that I've noticed have changed, and that is the turmeric color and the natural color. So the turmeric color for the new one is this one. And this is the old turmeric color. You can see they're different. The old one is more golden. The newer one is, is darker, right? So the old turmeric is almost a mix between the canary and the new turmeric. So it did change. It's not the same color. The natural color as well did change. This is the old natural color and this is the new natural color. So they are slightly different. The old natural color is more whiter the new natural color is more of is more of a natural darker color. The new natural color is similar to Aunt Lydia's size 10 crochet thread in natural versus the old natural color is more wider than the Aunt Lydia's size 10 crochet thread in natural. Now with the Kira crochet thread, it comes in a 721 yards per ball. So that's quite a lot for a ball. 721 yards per ball can create about two or three 12 and a half inch doilies. So both of these are 12 and a half inch doilies and I used only one ball of the natural for both. So you may be able to get, you definitely can get two 12 and a half inch doilies with one ball. You might be able to get three. Now I bought the value pack, so that was $73 American. So you do save money when you buy the value pack for one of each color. And for a lot of your projects, all you would need would be one ball to complete a full project for the most part, unless you have something really large because 721 yards per ball is actually a good amount for any normal standard size project. Definitely for a normal standard size doily if that's what you plan to make with these. So they are originally $3.99 or $4 American per ball and when you buy the value pack the price gets reduced to about 317 American per ball so you do save money. And I think it's a really good price for it because if you look online there are other crochet threads which do come in around the same price point but come in less yardage per ball and for that reason I think Curio with the quality of the yarn and the price point for how much you get I think it's well worth the price. Especially if you get the value pack, you save even more. Finally, if you look online and you compare the colors to what you actually get in real life, the pictures on the websites, I would say that for the most part, they're pretty accurate. So what you see in the pictures is pretty much what you're going to get in real life in terms of the color. So for example, if you look at this pistachio and you see how it's kind of like a bluish greenish color, you're not going to get like a, like this color in real life. The quality of the picture is pretty accurate. So overall, I think the Kira Crochet Thread is a wonderful crochet thread. It's still my favorite, even though they did take away a lot of the older colors, which you can check out the original colors on my first review over the Kira Crochet Thread. They did take away a lot of the older ones, but they added a lot of newer ones as well, which is nice to add to your collection. And a lot of these newer colors, these brighter colors, would appeal to a lot of people today as compared to the older colors which were more muted. It appeals a lot to me, but it may not appeal to everyone else. Overall, these newer colors are really nice. They're really vibrant. I recommend you open up your box once you get it. In the sun, you can see really then how vibrant it actually is. It's gonna pop in your face and it's gonna surprise you like, wow. I do wish that they did keep a couple of their older colors that they had before, like this Lichen Olive Green. I really like that. I think it looks great in doilies um, and other pieces for your furniture. And I personally prefer the older turmeric uh, because it's more golder than the newer one, which is darker. And there are a couple of other colors from my first review, which I did enjoy as well. Like this mint green color. I really like that one. With the new colors, you're gonna have a lot of fun with them. I really like the pistachio. That's probably my favorite one out of all of them. 
that they came out with the pistache. For value, for quality, for price, Kira Crochet Thread is really great. I still give it an A+, and I hope you guys will try it out because you have really a full rainbow of colors to create. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe for more videos. You can also check out my first original Kira Crochet Thread review to see what they had before they came out with these new colors. You can check out all these patterns on my channel. I have them there for you for free, so you can watch my tutorials on there and subscribe because I have more projects coming for you soon.